Hey, 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 hey,
what I'm saying is, is that like, I am such a picky eater. And the fact that like, I'm not even thinking about it anymore. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like, I know that whatever is going to be in front of my plate, like on my plate is going to be so insanely good. That is the one thing I'll say that I'm probably like most attracted to by Mexico is that like literally everything, everything down to, I got this. Oh, listen, listen, listen. First night I was here, I'm sitting down, it's getting real. I have to wake up at like eight in the morning too. So this is great. Um, first night I was here. I went and went to this restaurant and I ordered this, um, where's my phone at? Or not my phone, my phone's right here. Where's my, uh, like, where's the stand? Here we go. I ordered, um, this rosemary, rosemary lime, or like rosemary butter with lime. It was like grilled chicken. Wow. I, best chicken I've ever had in my life, first off, if, if I could just say that. Best chicken I've literally ever had in my entire life. I mean, like, I, I love chicken so much, so. But you should come to DMs in Miami. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. I'm also trying to learn Spanish, too. I've been learning a little bit of Spanish, so. I don't know. I don't know. Might pick up a second language. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mainly, though, I'm just, like, really bored. Um, all of my friends just went to sleep, so. And I'm up for some reason doing me. Got a shower probably still. And then got to wake up in six hours. But where's the fun in going to sleep early, you know? That is just how it is. When you're on vacation i guess you know live every moment i can sleep when i'm in la you know that's how i'm thinking about it let us see your bracelet um it's actually my room key so not like a fancy bracelet just it's like how i get into my room beep boop boop try an australian accent all right here we go i have to like i have to prepare i have to prepare i have to prepare <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> I'm like nervous. You guys got me scared now. Fuck. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Bestie trying to show an accent. All right. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, guys? How's it going? I'm. I'm. My name is uh, Peyton. Um, uh, I'm from Australia, and uh, I. Um, I love water and I love um, water and yeah, that's that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. I understand you. So how are you that you don't understand Spanish? I'm in same with English. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm starting to pick up a little Spanish, okay? A little Spanish, right? So what I'm thinking is, is because I've actually ran into like a really, a really, like, I mean, I've ran into a couple of you guys here. It's been great. I honestly was like, you know, not expecting it because this is like a pretty... Um, it's not low-key, but it, it, it's pretty, like, secluded. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was like, oh, people coming up, taking pictures and saying what's up and, and supporting the music and stuff. It's It's been really cool. So I'm thinking, because there is such a language barrier, I could pick up on this, you know, I could pick up on Spanish, and then it'll be...
Megamon really only be thinking about how good your music is. Yes, Megamon only thinks about how solid the music be because more bien, more bien. Pain coming to Australia. I, I'm so down. It's such a long flight though. Like such a long flight. I don't really know how, like the, like, yeah. I'll make it happen somehow. I, I said I was going to go to Mexico, and I went to Mexico. So I said I'm going to go to Brazil. I got to go to Brazil. So I'm going to go to Australia, so it's going to happen. Maybe it's not going to be tomorrow. We all know that. It's definitely not going to be tomorrow. Um, but yeah, can I tell you guys a story? Muy bien. <laughs> oh, listen, 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 listen. So this, this bandana right here, okay? You guys know this bandana for sure. This is the iconic one. One of the most important things in my life, sentimental-wise, is this bandana, okay? One of the most important things in my life right now is this bandana. Um, this bandana has gone literally everywhere with me. Every single trip I've been on, it has gone with me. It's my good luck charm. My mother gave it to me, and I have now taken it into my own possession for a couple years now, and I have not given it back because... Um, so, moral of the story, I was wearing this bandana all day today because that was just the vibe I was on. I was like, I don't want to wear a hat. I want to wear the, the bandana so I don't have a tan line here. You know what I'm saying? Like, gotta get the hair, some sun too. It's important. Um, actually, it doesn't really... Minutes. We had to be somewhere. We had to take a shuttle to get there. So it was really, really running down on time. And then I noticed I was like, oh, my bandana is gone. It is gone. I don't have it. What's going on? So I was like, it's cool. I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to bring the vibes down. We got to go. Even though this is literally like the most important thing to me that I brought on this trip, you know what I'm saying? Other than obviously like my passport and my wallet, stuff to get me back. It's good. If I was meant to lose this bandana right now, I was meant to lose this bandana and have that giant hole in my heart, you know? It was meant to happen. Um... I'm like, it's cool. It's in my room. I probably just took it off before I got in the pool and didn't remember and put it in my room because my room is right on the pool. So maybe I go check my room real quick. Not in there. Wow. I'm like, okay, shit starts hitting the fan. I'm like, yo, not good. This is really not good. My stuff is gone. Um, so a big thing i'm just gonna move on and i'm gonna pretend like nothing happens and i'm just gonna cry later when i get back to my hotel when i'm alone it's cool i'm not it's fine you know maddie uh webb who is one of you know a great friend i met on this trip you know you guys have seen her shared her on my stories somehow in some way clutched up and got the bandana 
So the bandana lives on. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was gone. Gone. Literally gone forever. Somehow. Somehow. Bandana lives on. I just thought I would share that funny story because that was probably like top 10, one of the most tragic moments that I've had to go through. And the most tragic thing about it is that I was like, did you get like slimed? I'm getting slimed tomorrow, actually. Funny story. Surely the lifesaver. Yeah, but like, it's funny because I, I was like, I'm not going to make a big deal out of this and bring the vibes down because that's definitely a thing because I have amazing friends and they would be like, oh no, we have to find this if I made it a thing, you know? So I was like, you know what? We're cool. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're good. Um, on Spotify and that's what I do. I also make content on social media such as Instagram and TikTok if you wanted to know. You should be sleeping it's late in Mexico. I know, I actually still have to get in the shower. So yeah, and we're just losing the hours of sleep because I don't have to be up at eight in the morning. I have to be somewhere at eight in the morning, which means I have to be up I like seven in the morning and I am starving. Eating something like this that I know is this amount of calories, so it's probably this amount of calories, this amount of protein, this amount of sodium, like, we're good. You better cook something. I, w cook. W w cook? What? What are you talking about? What I cook? Cook? I can't. I don't have any cooking things. You've been doing live broadcasts too often. What is the reason for this? Because I'm bored. I'm bored. I don't have any friends. I have no friends. I have zero friends. No, I'm kidding. I have a lot of mm, I have a couple friends. But they're cool, though, so it feels like a lot of friends. So... saying uh i go to the gym in the morning and then i eat food and i shower and then i eat food and i take a shit and then i eat food and then i figure out what i'm doing for the day and then i do the thing i gotta do usually there's like one to two activities that that i gotta do this is talking like i'm in california you know there's a couple of things i gotta do and then
Ah, uh, I think maybe uh, the Griffith Observatory is like my favorite place. Probably Malibu is really beautiful, but that's kind of a mission. West Hollywood's like the classic. Walk the stars, sunset. You know what I'm saying? All that Hollywood Boulevard. That's like the iconic. Everyone wants to see it. Um, but honestly, you're asking probably the wrong person because I was not like raised in LA. You know what I'm saying? I moved to LA a year and a half ago um, for very specific reasons. So my life kind of revolves around that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I like the way things look and I like the aesthetic of things. And I'm sure when I'm whatever age I am, I'm going to be like, why did I tattoo a angel on my body? Or why, why is Dexter there, you know? But... shit this is on my body forever until after you get it you know what i'm saying so i think the first one or at least the first like five should be up to you after that it's like okay cool get a little tattoo somewhere i'll give you the idea you know but get a couple first that you're like all right i really like these i'm gonna be super passionate about these and these make you know my my vision come to life have you seen Stranger Things? I haven't. I have not. Well, I've seen like the first two seasons. Dude, I'm so hungry. What do they got going on here? Ugh. What's up with this room service? Here's the thing. You don't know how long the wait time is going to be until after you order it. So like, I don't want to like order the room service and it'd be like 40 five minutes and then maybe just KO'd before he gets here upload a photo here in Mexico I actually took some crazy ass photos yesterday so I will upload those actually I really will I, I want to go outside because it's beautiful but I don't want to like ruin my internet connection you know what I'm saying like do you get what I'm saying is that like a thing it's probably gonna fuck it up. Now Wu Tang with it, Wu Tang with it, hey Wu Tang with it, put Wu Tang with it. <laughs> Bro, my neighbors were outside. <laughs> Hotel neighbors were outside, and I was, I was Wu Tang with it, you know. So, that's good. <laughs> they definitely think I'm psycho, but it's cool. It's cool. I'm not freaking out. Wow. Why did that, why did that, like, embarrass me so much? I just saw a light. Like, it wasn't even, like, a thing. Like, it wasn't even, like, a big moment. I just, like, got freaked out. Guapo means handsome. That's what you are now. Say, I'm go No, that, that is not what that means. 
Is not what that means. Is it? Is that what that means? Are you having a good time in Mexico? I'm having the best time in Mexico. You literally have no idea. Literally have no idea. For real. For real. For real. For real. For real. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? You hear how like how like it just sounded like somebody trying to get in my room? Or am I tripping? Cause I swear I just heard somebody trying to open my door. <laughs> It's cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Ah. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. I'm just tripping. Nothing's happening. Oh, they. Oh. Buenos noches. Oh. I swear you're tripping. Okay, you guys heard that, though. I'm about to walk through here. I'm going to take this. Oh, that's real bamboo. We got bamboo in this thing. I don't even give a shit. I'm about to knock the hell out of somebody with some bamboo. I'm about to knock the hell out of somebody with some bamboo. They think they got they think they got nothing coming. Psych. Watch out. I'm about to come running down the hallway with some bamboo. It's Dexter, don't worry. Yeah. Just Dexter making noise. But look at, okay, can I show you guys this? Like, this is what I'm looking at right now. Like, and then now nothing is visible. And then like, that's a long ass hallway down there. Like, I'm not, I'm not kidding with you when I say that like, that is creepy. Like I can, this is a long, like you hear the echo. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you hear the echo. Like, look. You see what I'm saying? Do you see? Do you see? I can't. Someone could literally come running up right now and just, ah, kill me. I have no idea. No idea. I can't see. But I have bamboo. So, don't even worry. I'm about to whack the shit out of somebody. Bah! Bah! You know? The whole way is scary. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I just heard, like, three noises that was, like, It's cool, doors open, doors unlocked. Just walk in, you know? I don't care, I don't care. Just come on in, no. I'm not scared or anything. I'm not in this hotel room alone, scared. While all my friends are asleep in different rooms. No, no. It could be your friends trying to prank you. No, because listen, last night was one of the scariest nights I've ever had in my life. What if it's the cleaning people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two in the morning? Yeah, yeah. Um, no. Last night, we're sitting there. The whole group we have here, we're all watching a little movie, a little movie moment. You know, pretty cute. Pretty, pretty, you know, aesthetic and just vibey. We're all watching a little movie. Um, and then the fucking power just goes, choo! Everything goes out. The TV, the lights outside, the lights in our hotel room. Hotel power goes out, completely out. Immediately, my brain is like, oh, shit. You know, I'm like, wow, this is it. I'm done. Someone just cut the power. They're about to run up in here. I am done. You know, that's what I thought. That's really what I thought was happening. Wi-Fi goes out. The phones aren't connected. So here's the thing. Going from United States to Mexico... My phone does not work, you know, it does not have service. It has 3G, which was, 3G was like so insane, like fucking five years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like five, six years ago, 3G, let's fucking go. Now, that shit sucks. So, no service, no anything, I can't send texts, I can't make calls. I am literally isolated. 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 Nothing. Nothing I can do. Someone breaks into my hotel room, 
nothing. There is literally nothing I can do except for run and make a whole bunch of noise, you know, and obviously hit them with the bamboo. That's all I can fucking do at this point. So I'm still with a group of people, you know, what's up, Donnie? What's up, Donnie Bravo? Sending chickens in the chat. <laughs> um, so that's literally all I can do, right? So I'm still with a group of friends and I'm like, all right, this is cool. But I'm feeling the vibe that like other people are trying to go to sleep. So I'm like, all right, this is cool. I'm going to start the initiative no matter how scared I am. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be strong, you know? Who are you? Hi, I'm I'm Peyton. I'm Peyton Mormeyer. I make I make music. Um, I'm from North Carolina originally. I live in Los Angeles, California. My my uh, Spotify is Peyton. My Apple Music is Peyton. Uh, like I said, I make music. It's really good. You should go stream it. I'm actually I uh, just dropped a song. It's called All Wrong. So please go stream it for me. If you don't know who I am, you'll really like it. I promise you. And you can come back to this live stream and you'll be like, Ah, I know who that guy is now. Ah, um, beyond the point. So. I was like, this is the moment I'm not a little kid anymore. Whole backstory for real. Yes, because I didn't, like I said, you guys are my friends right now. So if you don't want to hear my stories, if you don't want to hear me talk, then please exit because I have to get this off my chest because I need people to talk to. I have people to talk to. I have friends. Okay. I, I he's also five, seven. I'm not five, seven. Okay. I'm five, 10. All right. I'm I'm an 18 year old man. I'm not five seven, all right. But there's nothing wrong with being five seven if you are. By the way, any any guy in here that's five seven, no problem. It's not like it's like, you know, it's fine. It's not. I, I you know, you get what I'm saying. Like it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm not five seven though. I'm not. That is a fact. Um, let me get man. I need to fucking tell my story, bro. Y'all are tripping. So. Basically, I'm like, all right, I need to be a man right now. I put on my bag. I'm like, okay, guys, I'm just going to send it. Like, I didn't have any Wi-Fi still, which means my phone doesn't work. I'm like, okay, I don't even know if I can get in my hotel room because the hotel doors are electric. So I'm like, no power. Great. I don't know what's going to happen. Make the mission um, down to my room. Get into my room. I'm like, all right, I'm here. And I'm sitting in my room, okay? This is where the story is like, oh, fuck. I'm sitting in my room, and the Wi-Fi comes back on periodically. Nothing works still. There's electricity from a backup generator, okay? The TV doesn't work. The f Sorry, I had a little moment there. The TV doesn't work. The phones don't work. Like, the landline phones. You know, it's so like the, the room service. Like, you're like, hey, how's it going? You're illegal right now, you know, pay it. Well, I'm also legal in the United States, but not legal to drink. I am legal to drink here, and I actually did buy a drink today, by the way, guys. So, <laughs> yep, went up to the bar and bought a drink because I can drink in Mexico. So, um, all right, here's the thing. Back to my story. Because this is where the story gets good. Listen, please, everybody, please listen. My mom told me about that she loves your music. Okay. Really? Actually? Tell your mom that's that's dope. That's dope. I really I really like that. That that really made my night better. Okay, most important part of the story. I have to tell her right here. This is where it gets good, okay? Power had already gone out once. You were learning Spanish for the bars. I knew it. No, I don't even know how to say anything related to alcohol in Spanish. I just know how to say like I'm good. Thank you. Um, this is great. Yes, those simple things, simple words, simple words. How are you? You know, very good. Like I, you know, so um, basically, <laughs> this is the part, this is the best part of the story. Okay, stick around, stick around. So, okay, story time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So I get back into my hotel room. Okay, I make it. Power's back on from the the backup genera generator. The Wi-Fi is coming back on like periodically. So there's like five to two minute intervals that I can actually use my phone and like text people and be like, hey, so something's happening. Um, 
you know? <laughs> um, then sitting, and it's about like 1.30, 1.30 in the morning, and sitting in my bed, all of a sudden, pew, power goes out again. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, how? What's going on? Everything shuts off. Power goes out completely again. I'm like, okay, this is weird. Lights are off. Everything's shut off. Power comes back on. I'm like, oh, all right. They're probably just switching from backup generator to main generator or main power supply. You know what I'm saying? Like switching back because the power had gone down. You can admit you were scared. I was fucking terrified. I was like, I'm not even playing with you guys right now. I was so scared. Like I was so scared. But I, I, like, I wasn't, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I knew at that moment in my life, I had to be, like, I, I had to just step up and, and be the alpha, you know? I had to be, like, I'm going to walk to my room, and if I get in a brawl, I'm getting in a brawl, you know? If there are zombies outside right now, I'm going to, I'm just going to beat these zombies down, you know? Like, I'm going to, I'm just going to. You know, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to close my... I'm going to turn wide-eyed. I'm going to go nuts. You know, I'm going to go stupid. I'm going to go stupid. No way you're still up. I like how you say that, but you're still up too. So that's like contradicting yourself. But yes, I am. And I haven't even gotten the shower. I need to fucking shower. Um, Peyton, do you like Mexican music? I do. Honestly, I've been having the best time. Everything about Mexico is like the, the best thing. The only thing that was semi-terrifying was was last night when the power went out and... I thought I was going to die, besides the point. But yeah, it, I mean, I'm telling you, I was walking back to my room. I had my bag on my shoulders because I always keep my bag with me because I got importance that I can't be leaving. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to get back in the country somehow, so I got to keep all my stuff with me just in case. I'm not trying to get something stolen off of me, you know, being safe, right? So I'm like walking back and I'm seriously preparing myself. I'm like, bro, so I'm, like, I'm checking every single corner I'm walking by. Someone's going to pop out. I'm ready. I'm ready for war right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoo, whoo. And it's, a, it, it's not a mission, but it's like, it's a good like 30 second, 45 second walk, which doesn't sound like a lot. But when, you know, the power just went out, there's no Wi-Fi and you're terrified. Like, I'm terrified is a strong word to use. When you were definitely scared, it feels like a lot longer than it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what what situation it is it could be it could be literally anything walking from your house to your friend's house or anything like that when you are paranoid it makes things so much worse so much worse so that 30 to 45 second walk was like you know but i was checking the corners i was ready because your boy here listen i watch i watch ufc i'm up in there all right don't even test me don't even try it you know what's going to happen if you try it? You're going to get that boom, boom, you know? You slip, oh, bah, oh, watch out, slip, uppercut, boom, you know? Just like that, on your ass. You didn't even know what happened. On your ass. Didn't even know. Didn't even expect it, right? So that's the mentality I was in. I made it back to my room, though. I was safe. I went to sleep. I woke up the next morning. I had some amazing breakfast. I had amazing, like, just an amazing breakfast, amazing day. I ordered a couple drinks because I can do that here, you know, and I just had a good time. I had a great time. I just chilled and that was that. Don't hit me. I wasn't hitting you. I was reenacting what would have happened if someone tried to, to really test me that night because, Peyton, are you hitting us? Stop, guys, stop, stop, stop. We know what was going on. We know what was happening. Okay. Stop. Just stop. Stop roasting me. Stop roasting me. We're all friends here. It's late as hell. It's two in the morning. Okay. Something like we sh we all shouldn't be here right now. Every single one of us should be asleep. All right. So. Yeah. I don't even want to hear it. I, I, I don't abuse for stop. I don't I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. I do not even want to hear it. I was reenacting what would have happened if somebody would have tested me yesterday when I was scared walking to my hotel room because the power went out and I was like, someone comes around the corner, boom! I turned my phone off.
It's 3 a.m. Uh, it's 2 in the morning for me. You hit me so- Bro, stop. 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 Not a funny joke. Stop. Stop, 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 too far, too far, stop, 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 stop. But yeah, should I share some, what are questions? Do we have, do we have Q&A? Oh, perfect. Marry me. Yeah. Uh, the... Uh, what did you think of Mexico? Are you liking it? I'm literally loving it. Mexico is like the best. Literally the best. I want to come back. I want to come back so bad. Um, do you like to read books? What's your favorite genre? Bro, stop, 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 stop. Uh, do you like to read books? What's your favorite genre? Um, I uh, used to be really into reading books when I was younger. Uh, my favorite book series was the Percy Jackson series. That was uh, my favorite. So <laughs> Stop. I have to say because you guys aren't stopping. You guys aren't stopping. You know? It's, mm, mm. Uh, yeah. we're, getting, we're getting right on the line of uh, kind, of, kind of being fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Kind of got to be the authority figure here and be like, hey, 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 guys, not a funny joke. Not a funny joke. You know, stop saying stop. Well, 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 I mean, it's for a reason. You know, it, it's for a reason. You stop, 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 stop. OK, well, well, guys, guys, we're making inappropriate jokes. So I think that it was for the best that that I I said, stop, 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 stop. Um, what's your favorite film? Uh, it's a good question. Actually, I have a lot of favorite movies. Um, but anything Adam Sandler's in is my favorite. Except for, um, it's that one movie he did that was so trash. Um, I literally can't watch it. Um, it's not because of him. I love Adam Sandler and everything he does. And I, I like, hate the fact that I just said trash because, like, literally nothing Adam Sandler does is trash ever. It's all so insanely good. Ah, oh, these are my glasses, damn. Um, it's all insanely good. So, yeah, but literally anything with Adam Sandler. I think my least favorite Adam Sandler movie now is probably The Week Of. Because I've just seen it too many times. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I can't. That's not, The Week Of is not a movie you should watch like four times plus. You know, three is fine. Four and up, you're getting into dangerous territory there. So definitely don't recommend watching that movie a bunch of times. But the first three is like, let's go, you know. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> Dude, I have to, I have to go, I have to go. But I don't, I really don't want to. That's the problem. Like even earlier, I didn't want to get off live, but I had to. Uh, I need to go to sleep, I need to go to sleep, I need to go to sleep, I need to hop in the shower and go to sleep. Do I even hop in the shower? Like, I literally said I was going to do that earlier, and I didn't. Bruh. Did you watch The Maze Runner? No, I didn't. Oh my god. That's what my hair looks like, being a hat all day. By the way, guys, in case you ever wanted to know. This is what... Peyton Moormeyer looks like after. Uh, what does this guy do? Uh, hey, everybody. My name is Peyton Moormeyer. Uh, I'm an artist from North Carolina. Um, I, I make music. I'm really passionate about um, instruments and, and writing music and putting out the best art I can into the world. Uh, I actually just released a new song called All Wrong. I'd really appreciate it if you want to Spotify um, or any streaming platform, actually. Um, I did drop a music video for it as well on YouTube, so even if you're not feeling the uh, streaming platform thing, you can still go to YouTube, and you can listen to the song while watching a music video if you're more into that, um, which I've found, personally, I'm more into that. So just figured I would drop a 
music video in there for you guys so that my people who don't just want to stream it can watch it and experience a song. Um, that's who I am. That's what I do. I also create content on every content platform. Um, not every content platform, actually Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. That's where you'll find me dancing around. What's your favorite instrument? Uh, it used to be guitar. It's probably um, piano. Now, because of my MIDI controller, um, I really love piano, and I really love the uh, feeling, actually, that I get from discovering something new on the piano. Um, I get a similar feeling from a guitar, but piano just hits a little bit harder for some reason. Can't really describe it, but... Um, that that is what it is. Uh, so yeah. Do you want a girlfriend? Uh, I actually was just talking about this. It's so funny. It's so funny you ask. I low key think I'm lonely as hell, but the problem is, is I don't think I have time for her. not not even time. If I had a girlfriend, I would have time for her for sure. But the problem, like I would make time. You get what I'm saying? But the problem is, is that um. I don't even know. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens with that. But I just don't think I'm in the relationship mood right now. But I feel like I'm lonely. Like, I feel like I need a companion. But every time I feel like that, I get myself in a bad situation that I shouldn't put myself in. Peyton on Snapchat, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, and Instagram. There you go. And Peyton Mormeyer on Twitter and Instagram as well. Oh my god, your lashes are so pretty. Hey, thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got them from my mom, I think. Um, at least you have my companion. Yeah, exactly. I have you guys as companions. So, where's the need? Where's the need for a girlfriend, you know? Where is the need when I have you guys to... Um, be my friends and have my back. Swag, I need to go to fucking sleep. Um, so I'm gonna hop in the shower and think about life for way too long. I also wanted to film a TikTok before I went to sleep, so fuck. When I see you, I have so much stuff to tell you. I'm I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. I need more. I need more. I need more adventurous stories in my life. I feel like I'm the only one who tells stories. You need a Joey Lynn out of life update. I actually do. It's been so long. It's been so long. I feel like I've missed out on so much of your life. You really need sleep. I know, bro. I know, I know, I know. Muy bien, muy bien. Uh, your eyes are so beautiful. Really? I feel like my eyes are boring. Streaming all wrong. Really, really, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... So, uh, from one to ten, how much? What? Um, you've really been in it for five years. You know so much about it. It's funny. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. Do you know any Russian words? Privet. Your hairstyle really suits you. Thank you. Honestly, I cut it myself. And I feel like um, that's the best way to do it for me at this point because I don't like my hair being um, classically cut and even. I like it being textured and messy and weird because it's like this, you feel what I'm saying? Like you never know what's going to happen. It's a new adventure every single day. Uh, some days I wake up and it does this. Other days I wake up and it does like this, you feel what I'm saying? Where it's like that, like, you know? And some days I wake up and it's just not even there. I don't even have hair on my head. 
I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, guys. I think it's time I need to call it a night and go to sleep. I really wish I ordered food because it definitely would have been here by now. If I would have just fucking ordered food when I first got on live stream, but no. Because I'm a shithead, so. Cool, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for talking. Um, damn, I gotta get in the shower, too, bro. I gotta fucking wash my face and stuff. And ah, That means I gotta get a new pair of underwear, too. <laughs> I seriously underpacked for this trip because I... Um, I don't even know what I was going to say. It doesn't even matter. All right, guys. I need to go. Thanks for um, sticking with... Bro, I need to go to sleep. I can't even get in the shower right now. I'm going to fucking fall asleep in the shower, dude. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. Thanks for coming on, guys. Um, appreciate it. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning when I go live. And that's going to be that. So make sure to join. All right. Bye, guys. Peace.